Alrighty guys, what is up? It's your boy Revo or Revelation Gaming. As you know me, back at again here today with another video for you guys. And we have none other than another amazing Poke Cube mod video. And uh, it's not just any video, guys. We're going to be going over the Galarian forms that have been added into the PokeCube mod today in this video. So if you guys are hyped and excited for uh, more PokeCube content and you want to keep seeing it on the channel, uh, please do subscribe. I'm really trying to get to 500 subscribers before August. It would mean the world to me if that was possible. And I love you guys so much. So yeah, in this video, we're going to be going over all the Galarian forms that have been added in the mod. Um, there's been a lot that has been added. And uh, we, we just have to go over all of them. And uh, you can also go ahead and check out the last video. The last video we went ahead and went over all Gigantamax forms. Or Gigantamax forms, however you say it. And uh, yeah. And then the video before that, which I'm going to go ahead and show you here. We went over Gen 8, all Gen 8 Pokemon. And then we went over all the Gigantamax Pokemon here that you guys can see on screen. So yeah, go ahead and go check those videos out if you have not. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be checking out these Pokemon all here. All of these Pokemon in here have, um, of course, have Galarian forms. And are really 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 cool so I'm gonna quickly go ahead here grab them out of this box or this chest really and uh, yeah we'll just get them all lined up for you guys so yeah really really excited to do this guys really excited to uh, show off some more of the Pokemon and just really show you guys how this update has been because they've been updating this mod like a lot so really 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 excited to go ahead and see here what is up so first off we're gonna be starting off with Galarian Zigzagoon uh, a really 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 cool Pokemon in general and as you can see here his model looks amazing in Pokecube uh, looks just like the normal Zigzagoon model with a lot of new details added of course the tongue looking really 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 weird but I really 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 like the face design with the eyes coming out and everything else with the eyeballs coming out and it, it, it's just really 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 dope also a dark side Pokemon obviously and also guys one thing I want to go ahead and state here while we're going ahead and looking at Zigzagoon is you will find the uh, location of all the Pokemon down in the description I will not be showing them in this video but they will be in the description so if you guys want to know where to go find these Pokemon so you can catch them for yourself in the wild because there's really not that many of them uh, you can go check the description they'll be down there below so after that um, I'm gonna go ahead here pop open Linoon so you guys can see it's evolution and of course Galarian Linoon looking nice yet again has the really nice eyes I really like the stars with the animations it's it looks like and the tongue was really 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 well animated I think it really came out really well and uh, overall just really looks like Galarian Linoon it looks really really nice and it's a really 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 cool Pokemon you can see there just the long tail everything that's really uh, accentuated I guess you could say on the Pokemon and it just looks great it just really 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 looks great and I'm so happy that it's finally in Pokecube so finally we're gonna go ahead and end off here with not a Galarian form but a new evolution that was added for these two and that is going to be Obstagoon which is really really cool and I hope we can get a normal version of Obstagoon soon uh, here's a little size comparison for you guys yeah he's pretty short surprisingly he's an actually really short Pokemon I was really expecting him to be kind of bigger than me taller than me but no it's pretty short but uh yeah you got everything like you know that you need in an Obstagoon and I'm really hoping we can see a normal Obstagoon as well because it'd be really 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 cool uh for the normal uh Linoon but uh yeah so actually uh here we go here's his like eye animations his face animations yet again I think everything is really really good on this model I think the, the animations and everything that it has looks perfect all it needs to be is scaled up a little bit in my opinion but uh, yet again I don't really know how this tallest Pokemon is supposed to be so yeah but really, 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 really cool. Really works and it has really good representation in Pokecube. I'm not going to lie. So, if you guys want an Obstagoon, you can definitely get one now, and that's really, really awesome. Alrighty then, so moving on, we're going to be checking out Galarian Stunfisk up next. was a surprising Galarian form that was added, but is a really cool one, surprisingly. I'm not really too fond of Stunfisk, but this model and this Pokemon in general just looks really, really, really awesome. So, it's supposed to be like a fly trap. And he's supposed to have a Pokeball in his mouth, so Pokemon will like walk up, get in the, the fly trap, and then bam, they'll kind of cling down on it. But it's not supposed to be like a fly trap, it's supposed to be more like a uh, iron clamp, if I remember correctly, actually, because he's like a steel type with the eyeballs or whatever, and he's flat. Just a really cool concept, and overall, just a super awesome Pokemon, and I'm really, 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 really happy. He's finally in Pokecube, looking great. He also has a like weird kind of walk animation as well uh, i'm going to try to show it off to you guys yeah he just kind of like walks like that so it's, it's pretty weird but it's kind of funny at the same time so i mean hey it's stunfisk so yeah uh, next up we're going to be moving on to galarian farfetch now galarian farfetch is a really really cool bird pokemon in this game now there is a weird size comparison between galarian farfetch and surfetch which i'm going to show you guys in a bit but uh yeah you guys can see the huge elite coming out of the back really well animated uh, of course he still has the awesome eye details as well as the unibrow you gotta have the unibrow for your farfetch fam 
and yeah, so that's all in the uh, in the mod now. And he he just looks amazing. He really, really, really looks awesome. And I and I really, really, really love the uh, wing animations and everything that they did for him. So amazing job on Galarian Farfetch'd, if I do say so myself. Really dope. So next up, let's go ahead here. Have him sitting because he actually does have a unique sitting animation. You guys can see there. He's kind of just sitting there on the ground. He's kind of happy, lucky go happy, you know. And let's uh, go ahead and thin out its evolution, which is Surfetch, which is a brand new evolution Farfetch got in this game. Uh, which yet again also has a unique sitting animation. Really, really, really awesome. But we're gonna go ahead here, have him stand up. And uh, yeah, you guys can kind of see the size comparison. I don't really get why Farfetch is so much bigger than Surfetch. I don't know why with evolution he gets smaller but gets a bigger leak. I don't know. I they didn't make much sense to me, like at all. It was really weird. You guys can see a little bit of detail there of the shield and also the leak itself. You guys can see how just tall this thing is and how he's really big. But yeah, the size comparison was really, really weird for me. I don't understand why he was smaller than Farfetch'd. I don't know why he should shouldn't he be bigger, I believe, as he's an evolution, but I don't know. Anyway, it was a really cool Pokemon, it was animated really, really well, and just the model works in a Pokecube. And I really like the fact that he looks a lot like Farfetch'd, but you can really tell like the extensions and extra things that were added to make Surfetch, you know, his own thing. So let's go ahead here, return these two, get them back in their Pokeballs, obviously. Master Ball, really. And, um, go ahead here, show off Mr. Mime, and then Mr. Rhyme, his evolution, which is just straight up fire. So, yeah, here's, uh, Mr. Mime. Yeah, um, Mr. Mime is really, 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 really cool. I really thought this Galarian Mr. Mime was a really unique idea with the whole tap dancing vibe with also the ice typing of anything was super weird. I feel like the best uh, Galarian forms are actually ice types, but I mean, I don't know. That might be just be my opinion, but yeah, here we go. Here's uh, Mr. Mime Galarian form. You know, he's tap dancing, he's showing off. He's got he's got the shoulder pads, got the muffins, got everything going on. I just really love this sh uh, the, the tap dance animation. Really amazing job. Um, whoever modeled this was super super cool and then he has this really 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 unique sitting animation where he's kind of like hold himself up against a wall or a box as you know a barrier just like Mr. Mime does normally so for the Galarian Mr. Mime to come out and just be able to do this it, it's super sick I really 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 like it and there's a floating world bead for no reason all, alrighty then but um yeah but uh he, he's just really, really, really cool. And then you guys can go ahead here and also check out his evolution, which is none other than Mr. Rhyme himself, which was just a really cool name to give this thing. And then also to just kind of have an evolution for Mr. Mime in general was really cool. He turned into kind of an old tap dancing. Let me quickly just put Mr. Mime away so he's not starving. Thank you. And then, um, is that I got Mr. Rhyme here? But he's kind of like an old man that, that also tap dances with a beard and spins around his cane super weird but really 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 well animated model as well because the feet the feet are tapping you also the, the the animations for the belly which it was something really really funny to me was that he kind of had like a clown belly so he kind of like separates the main pokemon with that that thing as well and he has a spinning arm with the cane which is just really really well animated and he's also yet again tap dancing which is just something really really cool that you know only mr ryan can do so uh, I was really, 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 really excited for, to uh, have him in the mod. I think he's really cool. I think he can be a funny capture to get uh, and just to really have on your team and fight with in general. So next up for last on this list right here for this like kind of inventory before I do a quick cut and show you guys the rest, uh, we're going to be having Galarian Weezing. Yeah, when this Pokemon was actually introduced, it was super, super dope. As you guys can also see the animations of the smoke just rising in and out of the stacks. Just really, really, really cool. But, um, Galarian Reason, when he was shown off, I just thought he was the coolest, just freaking coolest Galarian form because he just fits the, like, British type of style with the top hat, with, like, the, the fog being a beard now, and with the thing coming out, with, like, it was a stack of his head for, a, like, kind of a smoke factory. He also has a unique singing animation where he just kind of plummets to the ground as well. Also, he has the little particle effects um, on the side there. As you guys can clearly tell, just to go ahead and give you a little more detail on the little sides there, just so you guys can go ahead and, yeah, see the little particle effects. But just, yeah, really dope looking Mon. I really was just so surprised that he got a Galarian form. But, hey, he looks really, 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 really awesome, and I, I I just love this mod and I'm really happy he's in Pokecube, especially with these beautiful animations that they gave him. So yeah, I'm really, 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 really happy he's in here. And, and he freaking looks awesome, dudes. He just looks freaking great. I mean, just look at this man. This man is a floating nuclear base thing that's also wearing the top hat who's top of the morning to you. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we gotta go ahead and have that guy. So yeah, next up, I'm going to be looking at the next line of Pokemon, which I did a quick cut there, as you guys didn't even really get to see, but hey, 
This is the cut for you guys. So yeah, we're going to be looking at the Yaw Mask lines. Let's go ahead here, show off a Yaw Mask Galarian form. Now, I thought it was really, really cool um, on the model for this that they actually showed the little eye thing being purple, and it kind of has this like extra little lump on the side. You guys can see. Uh, sorry if it's kind of hard to see. He kind of like turns a lot, but you guys can see a little like lump on the side. Really, really cool effect to really just make uh, Galarian Yaw Mask look different because he wasn't named something different like his evolution because uh, Runa Grigus and Kops Grigus were named differently, but. These two were not, but yeah, you can also see the little tail there on the little piece that he has and the little like kind of grip piece that he has, and, and he just looks freaking awesome. I think in general this Pokemon is just amazing, and I really, really, really love its evolution line in total. So yeah, next up we are going to be moving on to Runagrigus, which is going to be its evolution, which is the Galarian form of Kofagrigus, where it turns into a rune instead of a coffin. Uh, so that's really, 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 really dope. You guys can already tell just how much detail and how much time has really gone into this. Just super dope. You can just see with the hands, the arms coming out, the the lankiness, with the with the neck looking nice. Like I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. It, it's so so different. Such a cool looking mod. It just it translates so well to PokeCube. And then also with sitting animation, he actually turns into a room, which is super dope. And he kind of turns to you as well. So honestly, if you like play on a multiplayer server or something, you could just place him there, put him as a rune, and just have him kind of walk around. And maybe if you can hide the name somehow, it'd be funny to like prank people with it because it would just follow them or something or it would just follow you so as long as you stayed with them it would follow you really cool you could do some really unique stuff with it but just a really 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 awesome pokemon in general with a really good unique uh city animation and i'm just super happy this thing is in the mod it is going to make uh battling and catching and everything else really 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 uh you know fun and the, the, that it just adds so much variety than the normal coffee Skrigus. so yeah Anyway, we're going to be moving on to the Ponyta line, which you guys might have seen in the thumbnail, might not, or I don't know what I'm going to put in the thumbnail just yet. But, uh, yeah, we can go ahead here and see he also has a sitting animation, a unique sitting animation, I should say, where it's kind of like kneeling down, like, nah. So it's really, 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 really cool, but also really adorable. You guys can also see, I really like the eyes. I think the eye animation areas where they put them are kind of weird, but kinda, with the fact they kind of put them on both the, the the front and the side they kind of like put it in between instead of just focusing on one which works but also looks kind of weird from certain angles excuse me but um yeah uh, it's a little um unicorn and uh i, I, th I think it's i think it's adorable i do think that the, the colors of the textures are a bit weird but the animations are great animations are amazing but coloring in the texture does look a bit weird because it's really kind of hard to tell between the, the pinks and the blues but yeah then we got uh, kind of this abomination and this is supposed to be like a full-blown unicorn thing. I don't know. I don't really like Galarian Rapid Dash. I think the model in PokeCube doesn't look too, too stellar. I think it looks it looks good. It, it, it fits what Galarian Rapid Dash is, but in total, I, I, I just believe that Galarian Rapid Dash should have been a uh, Pegasus. I think it should have got wings and uh, probably lost a little bit of the hair or maybe at least fix the hair a lot i do like the horn yet again i think the horn is the best part about it and i think the tail also was really good but the, the hair and the way how the body looks it's just super weird i don't know they should have gone with the pegasus vibe as you guys can see here unique eye animations yet again and brand new head shaking animations that they added into the mod as well which is super exciting to see on new pokemon but yeah that's gonna be rapid ash or oh well, yeah, Rapid Ash, yeah. I don't, I don't know why I was about to say Ponyta, but... Anyway, next up we have Galarian Darmanitan. Now, I want to show Darmanitan for a reason, because he actually has both forms in this, which is the status form and the normal form. And I can also show off just Darmaka along with him, since he's a lot smaller. Now, uh, Darmanitan looks really, 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 really good in this mod, I think, uh, for a first, especially compared to just, like, you know, Darmaka in general. I think both of them look really, really, really awesome. He has the stones coming out. He has the, like, kind of bub face type of thing. I really love the stone detail on this as well. And just everything about this mod just really, really fits. And you can go ahead here, look at Darumaka. Has little ice things. Has the unique uh, smile animation, which is just really, really, really nice. And then he also has this unique bouncing animation. That kind of looks like his Gen 5 bouncing animation. So it's super unique, super varied uh, right to him. And I, I just think it's amazing. I think it's honestly really, really awesome. And then, you know, uh, normal Darumaka doesn't have a special sitting animation but he does do this little bobbing thing kind of side to side not as cool obviously as darumaka but uh, you guys can also see that so you can also also see a size comparison as well just to see how much like bigger darmanitan really is so i'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the ball since they're going ahead and losing hunger here and uh, i'm gonna go show ahead and show off the second form to darmanitan which is this fire form which is one of my favorite galarian forms it is such a cool idea to keep him do be a, a, a snowman because he's an ice type glaring form right and he's normally a fire type 
But instead of just like giving him a, a snowman for the statue form, a normal one, you added the fire element that kept from the original Darmanitan. I, I just love it. The model in this is freaking amazing. It has a unique sitting animation with this kind of like rolling, like slash, like slouching animation. Uh, the nose is twirling around as well. It's really, really cool to see. Uh, there's also like little eye animations every now and then between the areas. You can kind of just see this little wobbling, you know, sitting animation. And it just looks freaking awesome. It just looks great. And, and you can even see the mouth open. Really, really, really cool. One of my favorite ones that has been added in this whole entire mod. And I, I just love it. This is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Galarian form. Uh, just because he, he's just such a... It's such a cool concept. and such a, such a great execution of it as well. Which I don't think Game Freak or model designers for this game do quite often. So, it, I'm, I'm just so happy he turned out really, really well. As well as his bouncing thing as well. So, uh, I believe after this, that should really be all of the Pokemon that have been added in the Galarian form. Yes, those are all of the Galarian forms that are currently in the game. There's no other uh, Galarian forms that are currently in the game unfortunately but uh yeah i mean that's all the glaring forms so yeah i really hope you all enjoyed this video go ahead yet again smash that like button please because so i can keep doing them because i am going to be coming up with a video after this for pokecube it's going to be the updated megas videos so look out for that that is going to be the next pokecube video coming up so that's really really awesome and yeah also subscribe to the channel guys really trying to get to 500 subscribers before august and you guys making that a reality would just it, it would make my day every single day uh, for like a whole year or something. So that would be really, really awesome, guys. And just thank you so much for supporting the content. So, yep, uh, this has uh, been my video. I hope you all really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.